Legal experts are already weighing in about possible ramifications of today's ruling on other rights that have been established by precedent. Justice Clarence Thomas today suggested that it might be time to revisit other cases, including the ones that made gay marriage legal or contraception related cases. Evening Edition's Austin Pollock breaks all that down. The Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade garnered most of the headlines Friday, but stakeholders say this could transcend abortion. If the court were to overturn that Obergefell decision, uh, each individual state could create its own policy, just like now, today, each individual state can create its own abortion policy. Obergefell, the case that granted same-sex couples the right to marry, is one of three cases cited by Justice Clarence Thomas in his concurring opinion. Lawrence found that criminal punishment for LGBTQ sex is unconstitutional. Griswold protects the right to use contraception. Thomas suggests all three cases could face a similar fate as Roe. The real answer is time will tell. Um, you know, the, the decision does not explicitly take away other privacy rights, but I think if you read the logic and, and reasoning behind it, there's a good reason to worry um, that the court will go even further, and certainly Justice Thomas explicitly said that he would. Today's ruling comes ahead of Lexington's annual Pride Festival. Organizer Jeremy Ellis says he understands what's at stake. Using tomorrow, we're going to have an audience, you know, north of 20,000 people, and they'll all be centrally located. So we're definitely using the opportunity to encourage those folks to get out and get their voices heard. While ideologically similar to Justice Thomas, fellow conservative Justice Samuel Alito tried to diminish concerns about implications for other cases, writing, quote, Nothing in this opinion should be understood to cast doubt on precedents that do not concern abortion, end quote. If we are not stringent and careful and vocal about um, getting out there and making our opinions heard, that can be taken away just as easily. In 2015, Justice Thomas was one of four justices who voted against giving same-sex couples the right to marry. In Lexington, Austin Pollock, Evening Edition.